Good evening, and welcome to the Canadian Strategy of the Week for Friday, February 28th, 2014. My name is Glenn Tompkins. I'm the manager of internal training here at VectorVest, and I'll be taking you through tonight's presentation. This week's strategy is called Glamour Stocks. Are they really worth it? Let me start by asking the question, what is a Glamour Stock? Have you ever seen overvalued stocks and wondered if you should buy them or not? Glamour Stocks, though, are more than just overvalued stocks, and we'll get into that a little later. Most analysts have a hard time deciding what to do with these overvalued stocks. VectorVest has the means to give you the right answer. Now let me start off by saying our mantra is to buy safe, undervalued stocks that are going up in price in a rising market. But is an overvalued stock a bad play? If the stock's price is going up, can you take advantage of that? What makes a stock overvalued? If investors buy a stock, it goes up in value. If investors buy with conviction, the price really goes up and many times it goes higher than our value. When that happens, investors are now paying a premium to own that stock. They are betting on the future. Well, how can you put the odds of a better future in your favor? And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Let's get into the program. The first thing I wanted to do is start by finding these overvalued stocks. So let's go to the Unisearch tool. We'll go up to the tab that says Unisearch. And I'm going to build a simple search here to find stocks that are overvalued. But not only that, I want to find the stocks whose price is greater than two times the value. How can I do that? I'm going to click under the parameter, go to stocks. I'm going to go over the price volume and go to price split adjusted. Under the operator, I'm going to click on greater than. Now what I mentioned is that I want to find the stock's price that is greater than two times the value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to create a custom field. I'll go up to the tools tab. I'll go to custom field builder. And what I want to do is go to fields, capital appreciation, value, and click on times. And I'm going to click in here the number two. So now, once that's done, I can validate it. I can save the changes, but I already have this in here. I wanted to show you how to create this custom field. I'm going to click on exit. So now the stock price split adjusted greater than and under value. I'm going to go down to stocks and go down to my custom fields. And you notice I have here value times two. So now I'm saying that the price split adjusted is greater than two times the value. And I'm going to run it as of now. And when I click on run search, it's going to find me all of the stocks whose price is greater than two times the value. I'm going to move this over, give us more real estate. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And now we start off with Tahoe Resources. We have a price of $25.94 and we have a value of $8.75. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to move these closer to each other. If I left click on value and hold it down and move it over, I'm going to move it right next to price. And now I can clearly see that these prices are definitely more than twice the value. These are now considered to be overvalued stocks. Now, because these are overvalued stocks, these are not glamour stocks yet. There are stocks like this in the American exchanges like Netflix, Google, and Tesla. But we're trying to find those kinds of stocks here in Canada. Now, one question that we get a lot is how can a stock that's grossly overvalued get a buy recommendation? Move this back over. So as we mentioned, we're looking at Tahoe and we see that it's more than twice its value and yet it's still a buy recommendation. Well, in order to get a buy recommendation, that recommendation is based off of our stop price. 
And the stop price here is a 13 week moving average that's adjusted for the fundamentals of the stock. The fundamental indicators we have are RV and RS. If these fundamental indicators are good, we're going to lower the stop price to keep you in those fundamentally sound stocks a little longer. But when the fundamentals start to wane, then what will happen is a stock will get to a hold and even to a sell. So even though a stock is overvalued, it can still have a buy recommendation because the recommendation is based off of the stop price, the stock's price moving higher than the stop price, moving away from the stop price, RT and VST both need to be above one. When all four of those things are in play, the stock will get a buy recommendation. Now, we can do a little bit better to make these glamorous stocks. Because as I mentioned, they need to be more than just overvalued. We have an indicator here called RV. RV is the stock's long-term price appreciation potential as compared to a AAA corporate bond. This is going to tell us over the long term, which is one to three years, if these stocks will outperform that investment in a AAA corporate bond. The higher above one the RV is, the higher the percentage of outpacing that AAA corporate bond. Well, let me show you what that is all about. If I right click on Tahoe and I go over to view full stock analysis report, I'm going to scroll down to RV. RV is an indicator of long term price appreciation potential. THO has an RV of 1.35, which is very good on a scale of 0 to 2. This indicator is far superior to a simple comparison of price and value because it is computed from the analysis of projected price appreciation three years out, AAA corporate bonds, and risk. RV solves the riddle of whether it's preferable to buy high growth, high PE stocks or low growth, low PE stocks. VectorVest favors the purchase of stocks with RV ratings above one. If you want to know more about how this indicator came about, you can always open up the green book, Stock Strategies and Common Sense, and turn right to Chapter 6 and we talk about how we come about getting relative value. Now that we understand what relative value is and how it can affect these overvalued stocks, we're going to add RV to this search. So we're going to go down to Stocks, Capital Appreciation, RV. Under Operator, we're going to go to Greater and Under Value. And under Value, we're going to click on Custom Value and type in 1. I'm going to now hit Enter on my keyboard and I'm going to run the search. Now we've whittled the list down to what could potentially be our glamorous stocks. Tahoe is still at the top. If we look at relative value here, it shows us at 1.35. This lets us know that over the next three years, Tahoe will outperform that AAA corporate bond by 35%. It's got a relative safety of one, but of course, because the price is going higher, people are willing to pay the premium for this stock and they're doing it with conviction, the RT is at 1.73. This tells me that the stock is really on the rise. Well, do you want to shortchange yourself and not take advantage of the stock if it's going up in price, even though you're going to pay a premium for the stock? Well, this is where the analysts have a hard time letting you know what to do. But VectorVest has the key. And RV is the key to let you know if it's okay to buy these glamorous stocks or these overvalued stocks. Let's go on to UR Energy. We see it's overvalued. We have a relative value of 1.1. Relative safety is sitting flat, but enough people are buying into the stock, driving the stock's price higher, and again, people are willing to pay a premium. Altus Group, relative value of 1.1, but this has a safety of 1.21. So now, not only does it have good upside potential, but it is also a safe stock. Tells me that when earnings comes out, this has a nice probability of meeting or exceeding earnings. And again, the RT is above one. And you'll notice here we have a stock, which is Patheon. 
It's got an RV of 1.19, an RS of 1.22. It's got really good fundamentals, but the stock is a hold recommendation. Remember, in order to get a buy, it takes a lot of work to get a buy. The stock's price has to be above the stop price. It has to be trending away from the stop price. And the RT and VST both need to be above one. Well, it looks like three of these four are happening. But if the stock's price is starting to fall closer to the stop price, the hold recommendation is going to get into the picture. We look down at the bottom. We have a stock, CA Satellite, overvalued. It's got decent upside potential, not great. Safety is at one. RT tells me that it's going down in price because it's below the value of one, thus giving it its sell recommendation. So now you have the means by which you can look at these overvalued stocks that are now glamorous and make a better decision in whether you should buy these stocks or not. But wait, there's more. If I highlight all of the buy recommended stocks, I'm going to add just another bit of flair to this strategy. I'm going to right click on the highlighted area and I'm going to go to view stock graph. Now, as you know, we've been talking a lot about cherry picking with the Midas touch. Well, why not take these glamorous stocks and do the same thing? I'm going to move this from a one year graph to a three month graph. I'm going to change the layout to the Midas touch. Remember, in the Midas touch, or in this layout here, we're looking for all three moving averages to be hitting new highs over the last three months. We have a 10 and a 65 day moving average on the stop price of the stock, and a 40 day moving average on RT. When all three are hitting new highs at the time of you looking at this graph, these could be potential stocks that you buy into. Well, here's THO. This is a great candidate to buy into the stock. URE, same scenario. All three moving averages are hitting new highs. Oh, but AIF, the 10 and the 65 are hitting new highs, but what is RT doing? It's falling. It is still above the value of one, but it is falling. This is probably a stock that you would stay away from. Same thing for RMP. And if we look at PEY, we're hitting a new high on RT, as well as the 10 and the 65 day. So out of the stocks that we just graphed, we have three potential glamorous stocks that we can take advantage of. Folks, this is the power behind the VectorVest program that nobody else gives you. You can look at these overvalued stocks that are going up in price, and they're going up pretty quickly because people are willing to buy them and pay the premium for them. And I've taken it a step further by looking at the Midas Touch layout to help to ensure the probability that these stocks will continue moving higher as long as the market's conditions are conducive to the price move to the upside. With that, folks, I'd like to say thank you for joining us for the strategy of the week. And on Monday, we're going to have a question and answer period on a webcast at 12 p.m. You can register at register at www.vectorvest.com forward slash events. At that point in time, we'll be able to answer any questions that you may have in regards to the strategy of the week. And keep in mind that this is a concept. And the concept is to be able to take advantage of some of those overvalued stocks that are going up in price, but adding that RV to give it a glamorous feel to know that the probability is that these stocks have some long-term potential to the upside and have some staying power that they will continue to be going up higher over the next one to three years as compared to a AAA corporate bond. I'd like to say thank you for joining us for this evening's presentation. If you ever have any questions, by all means, please give us a call at the number on the slide, or you can always go to the university as well. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend.